Okay guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to ensure jQuery Ajax completes before calling either the success or error handlers. Um, this tutorial is also going to demonstrate J jQuery Ajax's asynchronous behavior. And I'm also going to post this onto um, Lang Manual so that you could have the text version of this um, tutorial as well. So, okay, I have an index.html page here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a data.php. Um, and I'm going to put it in a data folder. This is to process the data and return a response. Okay, so we're going to post data over to the data.php. It's going to process it and return the response to us. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's create a button. We're going to create a simple button, only a button, uh, to demonstrate this. And let's add send some text. Let's say send data. Okay, um, let's refresh our page here. Okay, and once we, we, we're going to click this button and then we're going to post data over to data.php and we're going to process, return the response. Okay, so let's go ahead and say once the document is ready, let's call a function and let's say uh, once the button is clicked, We're going to call another function. Um, let's say return false. Okay, so once the button is clicked, we're going to post data over to data.php. So let's create a function to post that data over to, to data.php. So we're going to say function uh, make request. Within that function, we're going to make a jQuery request. A J, we're going to call the jQuery Ajax utility and make a request to data.php. So we're going to say dog.ajax. This accepts an object. Um, the, the first um, name value pair is going to be URL. And we're going to say data slash data.php. That's the URL we're going to post to. Uh, the method um, is going to be post. The data. We're going to post over there. It's going to be in the form of an object, first of all. So we're going to say, and the data we're going to post over there, it just, it's simply going to be a name. So a name. So we're going to say name um, John. That's the name value pair. Name John. Okay. So normally, what we will do, we will call the success and error handler um, functions right here as well. So we're going to say success to handle the success. If the response was the the request was successful. We're going to say success function um, data. This is the response data. And we're going to say console.log the response data. Or if there was an error, right, we're going to say error function. Uh, we're going to say console.log error occurred. Okay, so let's if we let like I said, if we click the button, we're gonna make a request, we're gonna call the function, right? Which is gonna make a request, which is gonna post make a request to data.php and we're gonna return, we're gonna turn the response. So let's go over to data.php and let's let's open and close PHP tags and let's say if this set dollar underscore post name all right name um, we're gonna say echo the response which is gonna be your name is um, concatenate dollar dot dollar underscore post name okay let's see how this works so far okay so we're gonna click the button we're gonna it's gonna once the button is clicked, we're gonna make a request called the make the request function. This request function is gonna post data um, name John over to data.php. We're gonna process this by add a concatenating your name is data, which is gonna um, 
return the response in the form of data and we're going to console.log our data. So let's go over to uh, let's go over to our index.html, um, refresh and let's open up the console right away. Okay, so if we click data, as you can see here, it consoles.log out your name is data. Okay, now let's say I put below here, I put okay, I put console console dot log below request. Just we're just gonna console log this dot log out this below request. Okay, what you would expect would normally what you would expect would normally happen. We make that request. Therefore you would expect the data to be processed right and um, your name is John should be um, should be um, printed out before console.log below request prints out but watch what happens let's go over to the index html page and let's click send data as you can see here below request logs out first before your name is john um, um below request prints out first before your name is john prints out and this is because of jquery's asynchronous nature okay which states that which says that that this if you make this request this ajax request right the script will continue on onto anything that's below that ajax request before that ajax request completes okay so you want to make a request to data.php it's going to be processing but it's not going to wait for um for the processes to complete before continuing out to the the below whatever whatever is below that that request okay but in a lot of instances, when you're building applications, you would want to wait for that um, request to complete and the, the response to be returned before cons consoling or log out or whatever, before calling whatever is below that request. So this is how we, we, we achieve this. We achieve this with the jQuery.when method along with the deferred.then um, um, method okay function so how we achieve this first of all we need to return this ajax re ajax request returns a um, jquery xhr object so we need to return this object so we're going to say return this object now we're going to remove this success and error right we're going to remove the success and error um, handlers from this request Okay, and right here we're going to remove this as well. So now we're going to 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 achieve this to achieve you know um, we to 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 ensure that the script um, completes before continuing. All right, we're going to say dollar dot when make requests. So when the object the x jquery xhr object which is also called a deferred object when make request resolves then then we're going to call the success and error handler so we're going to say function this is going to be the success handler and an error handler we're going to say function this is going to be an error handler. Function error. Error handler. Now the success handler accepts the data response. Okay. And the error handler, we don't have to pass any, um, any um, 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 arguments to it. We're simply going to say console.log error occurred. Okay, and if it was successful, we're gonna say console dot log data, which is the data response. Okay, and we could leave this here, or we could put it um, below here, but it's, it's gonna be the same thing as before. Okay, so now, right now, once we make once we make that request, right, the request is gonna 
it's going to it's going to wait until it, it is the the ajax uh, meth, ajax utility function is resolved and returns the the um the response before continuing out continuing below continue to the next line on the script okay so let's go over to to our index.html so this should be printed out first before below request prints prints out so let's say click send data and as you can see your name is john is printed out before below request is printed out so this is printed out before below request is printed out so this is how you pause or ensure that the 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 ajax the jquery ajax utility function completes by returning the response before continuing to um anything that's below that re that ajax request okay so i'm also going to post this onto well i have already posted it onto lang manual um let's go over here and search oh, jquery complete i've also posted this onto lang manual right here so you could go ahead and you could copy this as well here okay you have it's wait until jquery ajax completes before calling success handler so you could call copy the text version of this as well on lang manual you could also follow me on lang manual um just search david you could follow me as well because i'll be posting regularly on lang manual okay so thank you for watching and um look forward to the next tutorial thank you